there's been a lot of discussion on the forums and the Model A groups about what goes, what procedure is to take place when you're installing body panels on a 1930 Model A pickup truck. For that matter, uh, other models as well. As you can see here, we already have some of the body panels on, so we have er learned the hard way um, on uh, what goes first and, and how to place the panels. So this video is about what we did. First you can see is that before you start any panels, the first thing that goes between the panels and the frame is this welt. Okay. Now where does this welt start and how far does it go? What we did is we placed this welt, we measured this welt to be from the back of the apron all the way to the front of the car, to the very front here. So it actually ends under here. It's very hard to just place this weld and, and uh, let it sit there. So what we did was we sprayed the weld, one side of it, with this 3M77 super adhesive. It's a nice spray adhesive. Lay out your weld, spray the frame one coat, spray the weld one coat, wait about 30 seconds for it to tack up, then you can place your weld on top of the frame exactly where you want it, tap it down, and it should stay in place. After the weld is, is in place, we use the punch to find the holes in the frame and punch them out so that these holes are ready for us to install the body panels. Once your weld is in place and the, and, and the, uh, um, the holes are punched in their positions, the, we will start with the fenders. Start from the front of the car and move your way back. The fenders, like this left front fender here, will go right in place on the fender bracket here underneath. For now, these two bolts is where the front headlight bracket will go on. But for now, we're just going to place them in here into our bracket, which is underneath. The thing to think about here is that at this point, you're going to have to loosen up this radiator bolt with the spring on it. Loosen this bolt up because you're going to have to put this in the fender under the, ra uh, the rubber of this bracket for the radiator. Once you have your fender under that bracket and these front fender bracket bolts uh, centered, put a couple of bolts in, like one right there and one right here to hold the fender in its position. And remember, because this fender is freshly painted, we want to use soft cloth gloves that are clean and free of debris. Otherwise, every time you touch it, you're going to scratch your paint job. The next thing we wanted to do is we're going to be matching up this apron to the fender. Now, this is easier said than done because unless you have your original fender that you had no work done to it, the metals will have to flex into position. So this fender has to be secure in order for us to match this apron to it. Also, as you can see, we had to fit this bead in between the fender. So to line this up was pretty difficult, but it's going to take two people to do it. To start off, move your apron towards the front fender. Get it close. Somebody go underneath and match up the holes between the fender and the apron. And just get your bolt in there. Don't tighten it up. Meanwhile, get your bead in there in between the fenders and get it lined up and then put the remaining bolts underneath. It's not going to be so easy. You're going to have to force this in a little bit. But work your way from this corner down to where the running board meets and then eventually tighten everything up when you have it lined up and it should match up. Now in this case, 
we're not going to be installing the running board yet, but we're using it to square everything up to make sure that our running board is um, matching up the fender and the apron. We're going to remove the running board because in a couple of days we're going to have the cab coming in next and we're going to need the room to step closer to the cab to install it.